More leaks point to a thicker iPhone success and added tricks. Rumors claim that Apple might launch a Project Fi competitor, and Sony has just made a couple of major announcements. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the best way to start the week off is to try without a bandage, but you don't want to see the burns. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Sony as uh, we've seen the leaks of the Sony Xperia C5 Ultra and now the N5 and the company has just made both devices official. These are mid-rangers but Sony's dubbing them super mid-rangers because of their cameras. 21.5 megapixel camera at the back matched with a 13 megapixel shooter at the front for selfies. That's crazy on its own. We have the no bezel display. These cameras are actually 4K capable, but the specs are in the links of the description. Even cooler news for the fact that Sony already begun teasing its EFA event, so we can expect a hot flagship probably announced later this year. Other official news have Nokia, and we're talking about the Nokia from Finland, by the way. The company has just made its uh, selling of its here services official to German automakers like Audi, BMW, and uh, Mercedes, which is Daimler, uh, which is great news, particularly because these companies plan to keep the Nokia services active as a separate company and just serve themselves from this service, meaning you will get here maps on Windows and iOS and Android going forward, and probably some new platforms. Let's see what we get. $3 billion as a transaction. Wasn't really that bad. Let's talk about that company that says that thin and light is everything, aka Apple. Uh, the company is rumored to make the iPhone 6s thicker to add uh, force touch technology. And uh, we've got some CAD documents and files that show that uh, the design pretty much proves that it will. But even more interesting is the fact that we get leaks of the display panel and uh, that uh, film that protects the display from the internals has a new cut. It could be for this uh, Taptic Engine or for such technology. Let's see exactly what it is soon. Now, even hotter news from Apple have the company apparently working on its own MVNO, and according to the trusted source, the company is very advanced in negotiations with US carriers and even European carriers. So yeah, this is pretty much a Project Fi competitor. We don't know exactly how Apple plans to differentiate this from Project Fi, but we should learn more soon. Now those eSIM cards start making sense, by the way. And finally, for the very interesting rumors of the day, it seems that Apple is planning to reinvent voicemail again. You remember Visual Voicemail was an iPhone project back with the original iPhone, but apparently Apple wants to marry Siri with voicemail. Make it your true digital assistant by reading your voicemail messages out in addition to also allowing you to share information with specific contacts through Siri through your voicemail. It all sounds very confusing, but it could be cool. But it does lead me to the question of the day. Do you use voicemail lately? Do you even care about it? Or do you prefer text messages and all the new data information and stuff that we have today? In my case, I can't remember the last time that I accessed my inbox for voicemail. Because of that, it's a terrible and cumbersome service. So yeah, I'd love for Apple to bring something new, but leave us a comment down below. What do you use? Friends, as always, you know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed. Make sure you follow us on FoggingOut.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.